Hey, church family, I want to take one minute to acknowledge something, and then I'd like to invite you into something with me. So first, I want to, I want to acknowledge this, that as we have moved through the season of Lent together, which is the 40 days leading up to Easter, and as we are about to enter into Holy Week, which is the last week of Lent, but it also represents the last week of Jesus' life before his death, this whole season, the season of Lent, it's not actually the point. In fact, the season of Lent was designed to be a pointer to something. It was designed to prepare us for a climatic moment, which is Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. And so I, I want to pause just to, to acknowledge this before I invite you into something, that Easter Sunday is the single most important day of gathering and celebrating for followers of Jesus throughout history and still today. So with that context in mind, I want to invite you into three ways that you can as an individual and we can collectively prepare ourselves for Easter Sunday. So I'm going to mention the three ways and then I'll explain each. Uh, The first way is that we would actually pray and read scripture together as we move through Holy Week. The, The second way is I want to invite you into a point or an expression of generosity on Easter Sunday. And then the third way is I'd like to invite us just to pray, to pray for our church family as we gather on Easter Sunday, but also the collective church in our community. So the first one, that we would actually pray and read God's word together. I'll explain it like this. And yes, I know you're excited. I'm going to draw you a picture. Um, We are a people of the presence of God. So we're people of the presence of God. But we're not just a people of the presence of God. Our foundation is the the word. So we're people of the the word of God, the scriptures, the holy scriptures, the the Bible. And so this is where we live as followers of Jesus. And with that said, I'd love to invite us to collectively, but also um, on an individual level, embrace this idea of practicing the presence and the word of God together. So what I did is I I went to an online Bible platform called YouVersion, and I set up a reading plan uh, that we can take part in together. Actually, they wrote the reading plan, and I just set up a platform for us to read and reflect together. On the online platform, uh, if you'd like to take part in that, there is a link, a part of this email or social media post. Uh, Click that link on there. It'll lay out pretty simply how we go through this plan together with prayer prompts because we practice the presence of God as well, both before and after our scripture reading. It'll also give us a platform to discuss to discuss what we are, are reading and praying and experiencing and sensing together as a community. Uh, I'm going to jump on each day through Holy Week. I'm going to jump on both in the morning and the afternoon to interact with you and, uh, and what you're experiencing through this process. Uh, but if you'd like a more simple version of this, there's a PDF that we're going to uh, give you the opportunity to download, which just lays out the scripture and the prayer prompts as well. And I want to encourage you just to download that um, if you want to keep it more simple and uh, and just follow along as we move through Holy Week, reading the scriptures and praying, knowing that your broader church family is doing that with you. And so... Um, That is how we're going to practice the presence of the word of God together as a community moving through Holy Week. Now, uh, I want to invite you into a point of generosity. Many of you know we have been partnered with an organization called Settled. And so I'm going to read this right from their website, settled.org. Settled says here, develops supportive communities designed to address long-term homelessness called sacred settlements. Each one is operated in partnership with a faith community community on their land. So each one is operated with a local church, Christian church family, on its land, which I would say our land here at Church of the Open Door, it's not ours. This resource we are stewards of, and it is God's land. So we've been praying for a long time uh, in discerning our staff team, our elders, other folks in the church. Can Open Door be a place where we can launch a sacred settlement? And we're getting further along in that discernment process. And I just can't wait to invite you into more details around that. But regardless, 
uh, regardless of what happens on this property, we're going to build another home. We've done this before. We're going to do it again. The last home that we built is right now on uh, at Mosaic Church in St. Paul on their land. And our very own Rose Larson, who's one of our pastors, lives in that home alongside brothers and sisters who at one point were experiencing homelessness, who now have a home and a supportive community. And so we want to build another home for another community. And this home very well could end up right here on Church of the Open Door land long term. And so the cost of a home is $35,000. Last time we raised that in one weekend, and it wasn't even Easter Sunday. So we're going to raise that this coming Easter Sunday. Everything that comes in on Easter Sunday, the first 35000 which is the cost of a home, is going to go towards this home. And so I want to encourage you to take time to pray and just think about like uh, above your normal giving, because we want to continue to operate in a healthy way as a church, how God might be leading you to invest in this project as we build our second home for a sacred settlement, uh, supporting and bringing uh, a a redemptive story to brothers and sisters who are experiencing homelessness in our community. And so that's the act of generosity I'd like to invite you into. The third thing I'd like to invite you into is just to take time. Take time to pray for the for our Easter gathering. Um, and Easter gatherings all around our community. It's a day when so many show up. Followers of Jesus, people who are not followers of Jesus, skeptics. So many come to the table that day. And um, may Jesus, uh, Jesus' beautiful love confront all of that. May walls come down. And if you don't know what to pray, you can always pray this. God, on Easter Sunday as we gather, may your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so that's the big exclamation point at the end of this video. I cannot wait to walk through Holy Week with you, but especially celebrate on Easter Sunday. Grace and peace, church family.